hello everyone hope you're doing wonderful today welcome to another video today's video is about the safety and precautions you need to take while using resin let's get started so before we start guys i want to let you know i'm talking about this not as an expert but as, but as someone who has worked with resin for a while so i've asked questions with the uh, seasoned resin artists as well as the resin companies themselves so if you feel that uh, something is missing please know in the comments down below if there are any changes that need to be done please do let me know about those too first and the most important always work in a well ventilated area when you're using resin also make sure that nobody sleeps in that room and there's no food nearby important point here is that there is there should be a lot of cross ventilation so that if there are any fumes during the resin curing process it doesn't circulate in your room whichever room you use for your resin work make sure to pop open the windows and doors uh, if you have a fan there you can switch it on the lowest speed the second one use a respirator to protect yourself from any fumes that may arise while working with resin please use a respirator and not a mask the anti pollution mask will not be able to protect you from fumes or any organic vapors so you need a respirator for that so when you buy a respirator make sure that it is appropriate for epoxy resin most art resins that are made are advertised as odor free fume free but you do not want to take any risk as far your health as far as your health is concerned so to avoid any respiratory issues or anything please invest in a good respirator next safety precaution gloves even before you pick up the bottle of resin you want to make sure you are wearing the appropriate gloves for resin work it is recommended that you use nitrile gloves they are latex free gloves highly durable puncture resistant and resistant to a lot of chemicals which is needed for resin if you do not find nitrile gloves an alternative can be vinyl gloves so these are the cheapest form of latex latex uh, less durable less resistant to chemicals so if i use them i use two in one hand so like double gloves for extra protection you do not want to get any resin on your hands but if you do wipe it away with some wet wipes and then wash your hands with warm water and some non abrasive soap if you use any tool for resin mark it with a permanent marker The reason I say this is because you can use your baking silicone molds for resin. But if you use your baking mold for resin, you cannot use it again for baking. You absolutely cannot use it for baking. So mark that particular mold with some permanent marker and keep it away from your other equipment. If there's anything that needs to be added to the list, please do let me know. Thank you so much. Do subscribe, comment, share. I'll see you in the next one.